This short demo will cover the initial setup tasks after you install the accounts program on your computer. When you run accounts for the first time, you will first see a window asking whether you are a first-time user with several other options. Accept the default of being a first-time user and click OK. Next, enter the basic information for your organization. The program does not currently use the charitable number field. It is just for reference. So let's click OK. This next window gives you several ways to initialize your chart of accounts, which is the list of accounts you will use – assets, liabilities, funds, income and expenses. Start by selecting whether you will use four or five digits in your account numbers. If you have previously been using QuickBooks, Quicken, or Simply Accounting, you will want to use these options at the bottom of the window for importing a chart of accounts file exported from those programs. It is strongly recommended that you read the help on such an import, because you have to understand how to export the chart of accounts from that program and how well the concepts in that program match the concepts in accounts. However, let's cancel this and go back to create a standard sample chart of accounts for the case where you weren't using another program that accounts can import from. Let's say it's a church. Now you see the chart of accounts window that shows all of the accounts that are part of the sample or that were imported if you chose to import from another program. For Canada, the accounts in a sample for a church or charity will largely correspond to the fields in the T3010 annual return. For the USA, they will correspond to the fields in the form 990 or 990EZ, depending on your selections in the previous window. From here, you can edit accounts to see their details. For instance, let's scroll down and look at this account, Building Fund Income Receipted. The most interesting thing here, which is the big advantage of the accounts program or over more generic programs like QuickBooks, is the fund selection drop-down. Every income or revenue and expense account must be associated with a fund, either your general fund or another one. Transactions that are relevant to that fund's balance are almost always posted against an associated income or expense account, not the fund account itself. However, they implicitly change that fund's balance without any special actions needing to be taken, such as assigning classes or making journal entries to update the balance. You will also notice that this account is associated with line 4500 in the T3010 form that Canadian charities submit annually to the Canada Revenue Agency. You could edit that if necessary. For charities in the USA, this would be a line on the 990 or 990EZ form. So let's close this and this, and you'll see this message that there's an option for accounts opening balances on the menu to enter opening balances for our accounts. We'll come back to that in a bit. Before that, you will see this evaluation and licensing window, assuming you have not yet purchased accounts. Just click continue to go on to the main window. If you do have starting balances, either from another program or a manual system, you can use the Actions Opening Balances menu option to enter them. Most likely you'll get the required figures from a trial balance report from your previous system, although some changes may be required to adjust for how accounts deals with fund balances differently from that system. We won't do this now though. You can set up a program entry password for enhanced security so others cannot get into the program. Instructions for this feature are clearly explained in the help. You'll see every window has a help button to give you detailed instructions on how to use it if you're not sure. We'll cancel this for now. If you want to be able to email database backups from accounts, go to Maintenance, Email Sending Configuration and do the configuration here. It's quite intelligent and helps you do it. The only thing you often need to put in yourself is your email password. 
Different charities and nonprofits use different terminology for various things. You can choose from various standard names with this Maintenance Entity Names menu option. You can select options from this drop down list. This is actually the standard one, just calling it Fund. Or you can just type things in yourself and then save the changes. You can also determine whether account numbers are shown in most places in the program with this Maintenance Main Window Options checkbox. You can say Hide Account Numbers except in the Chart of Accounts. Other things you can set up from the Maintenance menu include budgets, vendors, government forms like the T3010 or 990, and sales tax codes. Sales tax codes are particularly helpful in Canada where charities pay sales tax on their purchases but can claim part of it back. You can set up codes that create automatic calculation of sales taxes, splitting it between one or more accounts on your chart of accounts. And again, you would use help to figure out how to use this properly. There is also a separate video demo on that. That completes the basic setup for accounts. Go on to the next demo to see basic data entry.